Hey guys, we are talking about the sending church elements, the 17 different elements that bring definition to a sending church. And we're going to be talking about the assessment of potential missionaries. Someone's come to you and they want to be a missionary, or you uh, look to them and say you've got the skills and the traits and the character to be a missionary. And then you can begin that process of ass assessment. But let me ask, what should we look for as we're assessing missionaries? What are the, the characters and the competencies that we need to look for? Who should we send? First of all, I want you to just give this principle of like discernment. We should use the discernment God has given us, the wisdom God has given us, to help lead our people to healthy places. And too often, I think, when someone comes to us as leaders and say, I want to be a missionary, we're like, oh, great, I want to send them to the IMB, or I'm going to send them here, and they'll figure that out. But we as a church are the front lines of sending, right? Great Commission was given to the local church. We have a responsibility. So we need to, to take this responsibility very seriously. We don't just send anyone to the field. Use the discernment and the wisdom God has given you. And then we need to remember that the front lines of mission sending, as I said, is the local church. Now, you may say, I, as a leader, I don't have any field experience, or I don't know the nuances of cross-cultural sending. That's okay. That's okay. You love Jesus. You are, uh, Lord willing, you're in a growing, healthy relationship with Jesus. You have ministry skills and competencies. And all of those things, most of those things, are going to cross over to the field. You have a lot to offer. Your church has a lot to offer those you send. You have insight and ability to assess a person's life and character because you have walked with them for years. There is no one better to assess a missionary than the local church. Now, there may be areas you say, I, I need, we need to learn, and we need to work with an agency, or we need to work with maybe one of our, our sent missionaries to get some, some wisdom and guidance. That's totally fine. But don't undervalue your role in assessing a future missionary. But often when we think about assessment, we don't know what we're assessing, okay? So if you are gonna hire a new pastor, at your church, there are things you're looking for, right? Maybe they can preach, maybe they can lead, maybe they know small groups, whatever it might be. There's like, there's competencies and there's character traits that you're looking for. But when it comes to missionaries, we're often like, oh, I don't know, like they have a call, is that enough? No, it's not enough. They need more than just an articulated call. We need to be assessing these people towards something. And right, right here on the screen, we're gonna pop up this wheel these are the character traits of an effective missionary. These are 12 character traits that we can look at and begin to assess a person's life. Now, this is what I would say. There's no perfect person. No one is going to perfectly live out all of these character traits. But we do need to be actively growing in all of these things. Really three core areas that we can think about. The first is um, it's our knowledge, right? It's our head, knowledge. And then the second is our heart, which is character. And then the third is our hands, which is our skills. And the most important of these, all these are important, but the most important of these is our heart. It's our character. Our character is what will keep us on the field. We've experienced this, right, in ministry. We've seen uh, leaders and pastors fall, not because of a lack of a skill set, but because of a lack of a character. The same is on the field. Often the thing that drives people off the field is not a lack of skill set or knowledge, but it's a lack of character. So, as the church, I think our primary gifting to provide the assessment of a missionary is in the area of character. I think we can do all three of those, knowledge, character, skills, but really begin to assess and help develop the character of a missionary. Finally, I want us to think about assessing a missionary in two key ways. There's a formalized process and a relational process, and I think both processes are important. What do I mean by that? I mean, we need a formalized written process of how we will assess someone. So phases or stages of what assessment looks like. Uh, allowing the people who want to go through an assessment process an understanding of what that looks like. Maybe you use this wheel that I just showed you, or maybe there's some core questions you're going to ask, or maybe there's some books you want them to read. Whatever the assessment piece is, make it clear and make it formalized. Make it known to the congregation. because. Because I've found that when a church or Christians are aware that there's an opportunity for growth and discipleship, people will take that opportunity. Uh, the second piece is alongside formalized assessment is the relational aspect. Don't just make it a class. Don't just make it some like written uh, cold system, but you attach it to relationship. Think mentorship. Think discipleship. Think going deep into the lives of those who want to go overseas. Formalized and relational. 
but doing both of these is really, really important. So again, the church is at the front lines of assessment. No one knows potential missionaries better than the local church.